Hey, this is Gino, and I got Veronica here with me today. It's Tuesday, June 4th. Uh, I've got a little gardening video here. I want to show you what we got growing in the garden. Uh, right in front of us here, we have radishes. This is the end of this week for radishes. As you can see, they're starting to go to seed because we've had really, really hot weather. So what I did was I planted a succession growing for the next uh, week or two. I'll be still picking radishes. Here are the smaller ones. I planted those about a month ago. These I planted a couple weeks ago. So in the next week or so, I'll be picking those, finishing those, and in another week, these will be ready here. I've got beets over here. These beets look beautiful. If they're too close together, I'll just start thinning them out and I'll eat the, the leaves off of these beets. Over here, behind us, we have potatoes growing. As you can see, they're getting really big. I'm gonna start mounding them with a little bit of dirt. Uh, this is the first year that I've grown potatoes and I've got to be careful with potato bugs here, so I'll monitor them, but they look really, really, really healthy. Um, this bed here, I've got broccoli. Luckily, it cooled down a little bit, the weather. This is perfect, this weather, between 70 and 80 degrees for this broccoli. As you can see, I'm starting to get beautiful heads off this broccoli, and the kids come in and they start eating the uh, shoots of broccoli. I've got more broccoli here. I've got to do some weeding here. As you can see, all this weeds that are coming up. I'm going to start pulling out these weeds. I'm going to put peat moss down to stop these growth of these weeds. Uh, I've got kale in this bed here. I've got cabbage over here. So this is the other broccoli. Set a second set of broccoli. I just planted about a week ago. So this is a little bit behind that one. So I'm trying to plant in succession. So one crop finishes and I have the other crop. Uh, behind us over here we have um, corn. These are from seeds and I plant these from garden center. Behind us over here I've got beautiful onions. These onions here and these over here is garlic. These will be ready in another, about another month or so. In this bed here I've got peppers. All different kinds of peppers. These are red peppers and these are Italian frying peppers. I've got a couple of tomatoes over here, a couple of big tomatoes. Over here I've got lettuce and I can see that my kids came here they look like little rats that ate the top of this lettuce here. What I'm going to start doing is I'm going to start thinning these lettuce out and I'm going to start getting like little bunches of lettuce. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this little piece out I'm going to go to a bed and actually plant it and this little baby lettuce will grow into a big head of romaine lettuce. Right now it's all baby it's really good. The arugula here is starting to go to seed. I've had this a few times once it gets really hot, you see it go to seed, it gets bitter. So what you do with arugula is you get a knife and you cut it. As you can see, I've been cutting it down. This is great. This is great when it's young. It's not that bitter. If you let it get too old or you let it go to seed, it gets really, really bitter. There you go. Over there, I've got another beautiful bed of lettuce. All different kinds. This is all mixed salads here. I have red leaf in here. I have butter lettuce. I have romaine. This is really, really beautiful. I'll start thinning this out. Over here, we have our little blueberry tree. As you can see, little tiny blueberries. Hopefully, another three to four weeks, they'll be popping out. Have a nice bed of basil here. Over here, we have the other set of lettuce. I planted this lettuce about three weeks ago. So when that lettuce is finished, this one will just be ready to start picking. So here's another succession planting. Back here, I've got celery, some more peppers. I've got zucchini back here. Got a few tomatoes over here. We've got zucchini underneath us. And right behind us here, we've got peas for the kids. Now, if you've never grown peas, this is the perfect time of the year for peas. As you can see, they're starting to flower and we're starting to get pods. Another few days, we'll be starting to pick peas. This is the perfect weather to be picking them in. You plant these in the end of March, beginning of April, and they take about six weeks to shoot out. And that's where the pea is. See, Rons? It's starting to flower. This is the perfect weather for peas. And right, but not right beneath us, we have zucchini here. That's the rest of our gardening video. We'll see you soon.